Hey, hi, hello, and welcome to yet another video. And in this one, we're going to be taking a look at SwiftUI's new phase animator. We're going to be using phase animations to create a cool animation that looks something like this. Now, something like this is obviously super simple, and I'm just going to be showing you the concept of how we can create phase animations, and you can let your mind go wild with pretty much any way that you can use these animations. You can use them in tab bars. That will be in another video for keyframe animations, but keep that one on download because we are going to stay focused on phase animations in this video. So let's get straight into it. I've got all the code here, but I'm going to create a new one to show you exactly how this works. So when it comes to phase animations, the first thing I want to do is show you exactly the way a phase animation works. So phase animations work, as the name suggests, in phases. So if we take a look at this animation, we have the start phase is the circle, and then it animates out, rotates, changes color, and then comes back. There is also a rotation that's happening, but you can't really see that because it's a circle and I've done it intentionally in that way. So if we take a look at here, there's probably about three to four phases that this animation goes through. And the way phase animations work is we specify each of the phases, we tell SwiftUI how long each of those phases should go for and the animations that happen in each phase. It's so simple to get something like this up and running and I'm going to show you how to do it. This video will probably be less than five minutes. That's how crazy it is. So to break this down, let's take a look at the phases we have here. The initial is the circle phase. So initial, then unrounded corners, then rotate and then finish. So we're going to have four phases in this animation. So let's go ahead and create an enum called phase. And in this, we're going to have initial, unround corners, rotate and finish. You can name these whatever you want. You can pretty much create as many phases as you want and then essentially add the animation for each of those phases. The three things you'll notice are changing in this animation are the color, the rounded corners and the rotation. So we're going to create a computed property for each one of those. So the first one is corner radius of type double. And of course, we're going to switch on our self we're going to assume a frame of roughly 100. So on our initial to round the corners completely, we're going to return a corner radius of 50. And what's great in Swift now is you don't need to add the return statement. So on our initial, it's going to be 50 and also on our finish. So we're going to add finish in here. We don't need it there. And then for our unrounded corners and our rotation, we're going to have a corner radius of zero. And then for our foreground style, this is what previously would have been called foreground color. We're going to say switch self, and I'm actually just going to write this myself because we have specific cases. So on initial, I want it to be purple. I also want it to say finish on purple as well on finish. And then we have for unrounded corners It's and our rotate, we're going to have a blue style. And the last thing we want is our rotation. So our rotation is going to be an angle for our initial and our unrounded corners. We're going to have degrees zero and on our rotate and finish, it's going to be degrees 180. So now that we've specified the changes that are happening at each phase of our animation, now it's as easy as adding a phase animator. So let's go ahead and create our shape view. So all we need for our shape is a simple rectangle and give it a frame of 100. And this is where we add our phase animator. Now, once we've created the base object that we want to animate, now all we have to do is add the phase animator. It's that easy. We're going to add our phase animator and we have a few options. We have phases with content, animation, and we can also add a trigger. So once we change a certain value or variable, we can also trigger the animation based on that. I'm going to use the content with animation. So we're going to add this one. We'll pass in our phases, which means we need to make sure that our phase is case iterable. So if we say phase dot all cases, and then in here, this is where we create our content. So we want our content here and our phase. And then we also want the phase here to modify our animation based on the different phases. This is where we add the modifiers to our content so we can display the animation as it iterates through the phases. Let's start with the corner radius. So I'm going to clip shape here for our corner radius. And our corner radius is going to be phase.corner radius. And then we're going to add the foreground style. And this will be our phase.foreground style. And the last thing will be our rotation. So rotation effect. And this will be our phase.rotation. The last thing we want to do is specify the animation styles that we want for each phase of this animation. So we'll do that with a switch statement. We'll go through each phase. So for our initial, 
the unround corners, I want to have a spring animation with 0.3 duration. For my rotation, I want to have a spring animation with a duration of let's say 0.8. And then to finish off, I want to ease in and out. So let's say finish will be a ease in out with a duration of let's say 0.8. And if we change the text here to be an animated shape view, we'll let that compile. And there we have it. There's our phase animation with SwiftUI. Honestly, this is one of the easiest animations I've been able to create with these new updates to SwiftUI. Apple's also added keyframe animations and that'll be in a new video very shortly. So keep your eye out for that one. There will be a whole bunch more videos on what was announced at WWDC to keep you up to speed. If there are any specific requests, feel free to drop them in the comment section below and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.